Compelling content is a cornerstone of any modern marketing strategy. More than 50% of businesses currently invest money, time, and energy into content marketing, with most of them publishing new material every single day. So we know how important publishing quality content is. But what should your first steps be? What should you do? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a quick and very easy process to create a great content plan based on competitor research in just seven minutes. Yes, I said seven. By following the steps in this video, you will be able to compile a list of keywords and topics that you want to go after and easily prioritize which ones to go after first. And if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you see more videos that will help you make the most of your online marketing. A great place to start when building a content plan is to take a look at the competition. Understanding which keywords your competitors are focusing on can clue you into areas where you may lack content or even missing out on potential customers. And even if you don't know who exactly your competitors are, that's no problem. I'm going to introduce you to a tool that can identify them for you. Let's dive in. The first SEMrush tool I'm going to be showing you is our Keyword Gap tool. This is a great tool that compares your site with your competitors and shows keywords that you share and most importantly, the ones that you're missing. Now, this tool will actually suggest competitors here that you can compare your site to. So even if you don't have an exact idea of who to compare yourself to, the tool takes care of that for you. For example, I'm going to be use L.com. L is a fashion magazine and you can see here that the tool has suggested the websites of other fashion magazines. Then click compare. The keyword overlap visualization is a great way to get an idea of how much or how little you share with your competitors. And the keyword gap tool also provides a quick list of the top opportunities. But let's scroll down and take a look at the detailed list. For the sake of creating a content plan, let's filter the results to only see keywords that are missing from your site. Let's stop for a second because I really want you to understand how useful this is. You're seeing immediately which keywords you are, don't have on your website, you're not ranking for on your website, and all your competitors are. This is just basically a whole list of topics and keywords that you can immediately target. You can also sort by traffic volume to help prioritize content topics by focusing on ones that are bringing significant traffic to your competition. Let's refine even further and take a look at a list of keywords that we're missing and our competitors are ranking in a top 10 position for. Now let's select a few keywords and add them to a new keyword list. Clicking on a keyword is going to take us to the Keyword Overview tool. This tool shows helpful stats about that particular keyword, such as search volume and difficulty score. The questions section can provide very useful insights into the questions people are asking about your keyword. Again, I need to stop. This is so huge. You need to understand. I need to highlight this. These are questions that people are already asking about the keyword that you want to target. Basically, the people are giving you content ideas. How great is that? Understanding what information people are searching for, what questions they want answered, can guide your content writing. Your content should provide valuable information to people asking these questions. Add these keywords to your keyword list. Clicking on the name of your keyword list is going to bring you directly to the Keyword Manager tool, where all of the keywords are compiled along with key metrics. And let me add that in Keyword Manager, you can always update to get the freshest data available, which is usually the same day's data. So it's always the freshest information you can get. All of these different metrics can help you organize and more importantly, prioritize which topics to go after first. Pay close attention to the click potential column. This metric tells you how likely it is that people will actually click on your content. So there you have it. You can use this list as your master list for content creation and use the different filtering options to choose which content to create first. And I'm actually going to go even further and show you how SEMrush can actually help you write the actual content. So once we have decided all of this, what are we going to do? Very easy. We're going to go and write our content and we're going to do it in the SEO writing assistant, which is in our content marketing dashboard. 
This tool allows you to check your content against SEO best practices and get recommendations for writing the best content. I'm going to pull now an article from one of my earlier examples competitors and use it to show you how the SEO writing assistant works. And we're gonna write it right here. We enter the right keywords, there are purple shampoo. How does purple shampoo work? What is purple shampoo? And my database is in the US. I'm gonna click on get recommendations and we see that this is a good content. So good job, Harper's Bazaar. We get suggestions on the readability of the content. We get SEO suggestions, which keywords we should actually use. I'm gonna show you this in real life. For example, something that we should use is sulfate free formula. So how does sulfate free work? And you can see that the keyword became immediately green because we are using something that is helpful right now and that is related to the content that we searched for. And the tool already gives us the keywords that we should be using. It gives us also suggestions on the tone of voice, SEO, originality. You can check, of course, it's gonna come out that I copied all of it because I did, but this is just to show you, of course, that you can even check if your content is 100% original. So that's it. By following these steps, you'll be easily able to create a content plan and even actually start writing some of the content. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button and activate the notification bell to see more videos on how to make the most of your online marketing. And if you want to suggest some topics to make videos on, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.